create the world that you desperately desire to live in by being vulnerable and authentic with the people you come in contact with. See, if Summit's gonna be a safe place where people can come and investigate the claims of Christ, if Summit's gonna be a safe place where people can come and find healing, if Summit's gonna be a safe place where they can feel vulnerable and authentic, if Summit's gonna be that, then we have to be willing to be that kind of person. We have to stay aware of what's going on in ourselves. We have to be aware of our wounds and our hurts and our junk and be willing to accept people and theirs. See, I hope this is in trouble. Okay, so he says, bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. And then he goes into this whole, hey, if you think you're something, you're really not. Focus on your own stuff. Test your own stuff. I'm really not trying to walk this line of like, you know, grace to the point where we invite people to sin. I, I don't believe in that. I would never actively participate and, and just say, yeah, just sin away. But at the same time, at some point, Summit, if somebody comes stumbling through those doors, they're seeking something. Why can't we accept them right where they are? Just accept them right where, but they're gay. Well, you know what? You're a jerk. And Paul, and Paul said, focus on yourself. 